Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, spoke on the occasion of the upcoming launch of the 2020 Youth Summit, which will be organized virtually by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs on November 10th and 11th, with the participation of a number of ministers and Bahraini youth. The summit aims to provide young people with a number of innovative and practical solutions to overcome challenges facing different sectors and boost the youth's contribution in decision making. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa has affirmed that Bahrain has provided a unique international model in supporting the youth, preparing future leaders and creating all ideal conditions for them to take part in decision making. He said this trend is in tune with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to place Bahraini youth at the top of the list of priorities in national work and empower them to boost their contribution to the development process and tackling challenges. As Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out the success of the 2018 Youth Summit, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He said the summit represented a big opportunity to unify efforts back youth-oriented initiatives and programs and map out basic and strategic frameworks for the youth sector. He added the summit comes back after two years to underscore a new continuous coordination between all relevant parties to develop the youth sector in the kingdom, further engaging the youth in tackling challenges and providing a platform for them to express their options about current issues. His Highness noted that with the growing number of the youth in Bahrain, it has become imperative for the kingdom to implement policies to further engage them in making vital decisions and enabling young people to carry out their duties towards the kingdom and its development and prosperity. He expressed confidence in the Bahraini youth to come up at the summit with pioneering projects and ideas aimed to exceptional circumstances undergone by the world because of the coronavirus pandemic. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the 2020 Youth Summit will convene in a completely different way by shedding light on challenges facing the youth sector and hammering out a well-defined strategy involving youngsters in addressing those challenges. He noted that Bahrain possesses a unique experience in working with the youth in various fields, pointing out the great success achieved by engaging Bahraini youngsters in shaping the future of Bahrain. His Highness concluded his statement by underlining the importance of youth work in addressing challenges. He called on the Bahraini youth to take part actively and positively in the summit by working out new and innovative vi version or visions that are commensurate with the level of challenges facing various sectors in Bahrain. In the presence of His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized this afternoon the second race of the season, which was held for the Montreal Motors Company Cup, the late Abd al-Hadi al Cup, and the Sakhir Stable Cup for Arabian Horses, which was held on the club race track in Rafah Sakhir. The winners of the race were crowned at the Supreme Commission of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club member, His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa presented the Sakhir Cup to the winner, Yusuf Tahir, while Montreal Automobile Company owner Ibrahim al-Sheikh presented the Montreal Cup for the fifth lap to Hadi Ibrahim al-Afu. And the Montreal Cup for the seventh lap to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa al-Khalifa. Hadi al-Afu and in the presence of Ibrahim al-Afu presented the late Abd al هادي العفو كاب تعيسى الصديقي The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, affirmed that the ministry is carrying out its supervisory role through continuous follow-up to ensure that all necessary health precautionary measures are implemented in 37 government, private, academic and vocational rehabilitation centers for people with disabilities and 46 nurseries in order to ensure a safe environment for students and children. Hamidan emphasized that the Ministry of Labor and Social Development conducts periodic random inspections to ensure that all these institutions adhere to the health conditions and standards. The Health Minister Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh headed the Kingdom's delegation at the sixth meeting of the GCC Health Minister's Committee and the 83rd session of the GCC Health Minister's Council, both held via video conferencing. The meeting of the GCC Health Ministry's Council discussed a number of topics, including mainly the Gulf Center for Disease Prevention and Control, GCDC project, and the Health Council's Executive Plan for 2021. The participants also stressed the importance of intensifying cooperation and coordination on all GCC health issues. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,169 with 352 recoveries, 237 registered new cases. 80 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 147 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. The Sunni Endowments Directorate affirmed that Bahrain's mosques will open for the Hur prayers starting tomorrow at the first step of the gradual reopening of mosques and resumption of collective worship and religious gatherings. The Friday prayers will remain suspended in Bahrain to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus. The Directorate asserted that precautionary measures to ensure the safety of the worshippers will be taken during the two prayers.